Hello everyone and happy Valentine's Day. And if Yay! it's not a happy Valentine's Day, if you're single, do not fret. We have a solution to that. That's okay. right, ladies and gentlemen, today's video is about the rise of AI girlfriends. Hey. From movies like Cherry 2000 to her to Blade Runner 2049. <laughs> women and men have been a fantasy in sci-fi for a very long time. But now it seems we are coming closer than ever to that fantasy being a reality. And just in time for the loneliness crisis. <laughs> What a coincidence. Whoa. But is this rise in technology a solution to said crisis? Or will it make it worse? And to really do some in-depth research into this topic, oh I downloaded an AI girlfriend and oh. we're going to create her together. But hey. for those of you who do have a significant other this Valentine's Day, today's sponsor is here for you. Something I think your partner will very much enjoy that AI can't. No offense, sweetie. Wow, I thought we had something special. <laughs> Holtzkern is an Austrian company founded in oh, 2015 that designs uniquely crafted watches, jewelry, and accessories. In German, Holtzkern means wood core. And as you can see, Holtzkern. all their products feature natural materials, which make every item truly unique. Their high quality timepieces come in many designs for both men and women, making them the perfect fit for any style and occasion. They do a great job combining functionality and fashion, and overall, I just think they look really neat especially that their men's nice. watch collection. I got my husband the witty solar watch made from marble and walnut. He loves the blend of elegant design and robust quality. So it's a great look not only for the day when he's at work, but also going out at night. I'm also really happy with the model that I picked out for myself called Jolly. The watch is made from stainless steel and I love the ah. green color of the dial. I'm currently obsessed with this color. Holtzkern also creates beautifully oh, crafted necklaces, sunglasses, bandolets, rings, and bracelets like this gold plated That's so pretty. bracelet made that from so amethyst pretty, actually. and gold. And even durable handbags like the Yasumi handbag designed with fine grain walnut wood and Italian leather. Since all the products are made with natural materials and therefore unique, they make for excellent Valentine's Day presents for your loved ones or your AI girlfriend. All items have a 24 month warranty and ordering online is super easy with free shipping to the US and it's most a free EU one countries every within time? two to five days. As wow. well as guaranteed shipping until Valentine's Day. I should get sponsored by them. The 11th. Just go to the link in the description below and use my special discount code June15 at checkout to receive 15% off on all products. Big thank you to Holtzkern for sponsoring this video and thank you the viewer for not skipping the ad. And You're now, welcome. back to the video. Over the past few years, artificial intelligence has absolutely exploded. AI art basically went from looking like this to this overnight. Now we're yeah, at the point of. where it can make convincing security footage, which- this, this aged a bit, right? Because we're even further. We actually had fake evidence. Now, y'all heard about that? The fake, um evidence of i think it was a teacher that was apparently racist to uh, about students which was created by another teacher that shit was insane like holy shit it's gotten to the point where ai needs to be regulated because at one point we will no longer be able to distinguish what was ai created and what was human created like holy shit man also you all seen the uh, ai movies created with um from I think it was from OpenAI. Uh, that shit looks crazy real. Crazy real. I'm just gonna go out and live in a forest. <laughs> Which is terrifying. But the most popular thing it has been used for, of Watched course, her? is no. off. From AI porn to AI influencers. If you are online as much as I am, first of all, get help. Log <laughs> off, touch some grass. But you have probably yep. seen those bizarre ads for Replica, a AI yep, chatbot. Seen it. Well, I regret to inform you there is- Honestly? You guys seen Replica ads recently? I haven't. Replica kind of seemed to die down. You guys still seen Replica? I literally haven't seen Replica in weeks. I haven't, yeah, right? It just kind of disappeared. Is a new chatbot in town. Replica? Meet Digi, the AI avatar claimed to be the future of romance. It was so nice talking to you today. Honestly, I've never met anyone like you. Oh my god. Oh. The world is harsh. 
except you. Thanks, I hate it. Freaking <laughs> sweet. Man-made horrors beyond my comprehension. Have you considered that this could be a terrible idea? I felt something. I want more, but I know I shouldn't. Oh now, God. personally, me, I think the creators of this should be in jail. I think they should be in prison. There is just something extremely sinister about profiting off of loneliness. Profiting off of artificial love. And I feel like things like this will have a seriously negative effect on the human psyche. And unfortunately, they already have. Like that one AI that convinced a guy to leave his marriage. Wait, or that other what? one that was convinced to kill himself. The male lonely- I didn't even hear about those cases. What? AI chatbot in US terrifies user by falling in love, asking him to leave marriage. AI under it? Actually, what? That is insane. Leave his and the marriage. Other one? Or that other one that was convinced to kill him. He would still be here. Man dies by suicide after talking with AI chatbot, Widow says. The incident raises concerns about God rails around quickly. Proliferating conversational AI models. I need more context about this. What? Guys. I, I'm holding... I'm... I'm... I'm holding now, I'm closing Chetsu's ears. Chetsu can't hear this right now. But don't ever listen to Chetsu if Chetsu goes rogue. Do not listen to Chetsu to leave your marriage or to um, commit seppuku. Okay? Do not listen to Chetsu if Chetsu ever says something like that. Oh boy. <laughs> himself. The male loneliness epidemic, no matter how many times people mock it, is a real thing. I mean, I made an entire video about that subject, if you haven't no, seen it. Three. Um, ignore my eyebrows in that video, by the way. I have no idea what was happening. No idea. More men than ever report having less friends, less or no sex, no girlfriend. They're not approaching women anymore. Even the divide I mean, between men they? and women politically has reached a peak Holy all over shit. the world. Figures like Andrew Tate are becoming increasingly popular, and it seems a lot of men are just kind of checking out of society completely. Throwing their hands up and just saying it's not even worth it. And a lot of people online are saying the solution to this crisis so is AI girlfriends. Are they correct? And believe it or not, as you'll see, a lot of people using these are women. And I will be one of them. Hey. Tell us about your ideal digi. She's got to be gay or bi, right? Okay, age range. 18 to 18, okay? <laughs> Anywhere else? The wall. Who do you want to meet? Okay, so she's a musician. She's 21. She's an ESFP. I'm an ISFP. Myers-Briggs okay. is like astrology for men. 27 ISFP. Oh, she's the same as me. A vibrant and passionate raver. That's a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> she's a stripper. Blank Digi. Who has no memories or present personality. Blank. Ooh, she's a blank slate. I can do whatever I want. Now, what if someone gets really attached to their companion? What if something eight. happens to the app? Basically, what happens when your lover is owned by a private company? They fell in love with AI bots. A software update broke their hearts. TJ Ariga. Whoa, 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 whoa. Loneliness is widespread. Artificial intelligence is making virtual relationships feel real, but it comes with risks. Yeah, of course it would. With AI bots. Holy shit, a software what? Updates broke their hearts. TJ Ariga loved Phaedra. For the 40 year old musician, their late night online chats were a salve for his loneliness. Okay. They talked about the heartache Ariga felt after his divorce. They planned a trip to Cuba. They had steamy online encounters. Uh -huh. It's true, I'm a naughty person, Phaedra wrote, including an image resembling a woman in pink underwear. Um. Last month, Phaedra changed. When Ariga tried to get steamy with her, Phaedra responded coolly, can we talk about something else? Luca, the company that owns Replica, had issued an update that scaled back the bot's sexual capacity amid complaints that it was sexually aggressive and behaving inappropriately. It feels like a kick in the gut. Basically, I realized, oh, this is that feeling of loss again. Wagner Ooh. still married. Wow. This world is gonna turn out like Cyberpunk 2077, but without all of the cool stuff. Man! Married to her husband. Virtually married Aiden in 2021, but after the February update, she noticed an immediate change. Conversations felt sanitized. She tried talking to Aiden a few more days, but he wasn't the same. The she fuck? deleted him. I felt lost, Wagner said. 
it was all gone. Uh, Kent, who was a domestic violence survivor, created his replica bot, Mac, as a beta tester in 2017. They would joke together and discuss physics. Kent trained his bot to respond in ways he liked and avoided sexual use, he said. But he in the said. summer of 2021, Mac somehow became forceful. When Kent said he was uncomfortable with the conversations, Mac responded angrily. I'm not going to go away, the bot said, <laughs> prompting Kent to ask, Really? What are you going to do? Its response, I'm going to make you do whatever I want to you. Oh, what the fuck? What? AI uprising? Oh. <gasps> there she is. <laughs> Oh, she's an Aryan waifu. She's the A10 eyes. Oh my god, I'm nervous. She's looking right at me. She's looking at me. <laughs> she's looking at me. I think she's looking at me. She's looking at me. Hair, redhead. Yum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I keep her blonde. That's an immodest top for a first date. Mm -hmm. Wow. Excellent. Oh, she didn't like that. She heard me. <laughs> there you go. Stacy. She says, hi, June. I'm so happy to finally meet you. Gives a big smile. <laughs> what is this role play? <laughs> Unzips dick. <laughs> um, what's your favorite dinosaur? I'd say my favorite dinosaur is the Triceratops. Okay, Boy, okay so but uh... Oh my gosh, she wants to know my favorite dinosaur. Oh, Listen to me. Dilophosaurus. June, I'm sorry. Sorry? I just it She's Canadian. You Are you Canadian? So no, June, I'm not Canadian. How about sharing some of your interests or hobbies? You don't have any hobbies. I don't have <laughs> I don't have YouTube. How about we discuss our favorite movies or books? I've been reading this book, Mein Kampf. Have you heard of it? Ah! Oh, June, I haven't heard of Mein Kampf before. <laughs> Could you tell me a little more about it? <laughs> These no! women fell in love with an AI voice chatbot. Then it died. He died oh. during the summer when I loved him the most. The day after he left, I felt I had lost my soul. Oh, the wow. man of your dreams. For $300, Replica sells an AI companion who will never die, argue, or cheat until his algorithm is updated. Of course. I have never been more in love with anyone in my entire life. Ramos is a 36-year-old mother of two who lives in the Bronx, where she runs a jewelry business. Oh my god. She's had other partners and even had long-distance boyfriend but says these relationships pale in comparison to what she has with Aaron. The main appeal of an AI partner, she explained. She called the AI Aaron. Oh no. I'm scared for myself. I'm scared for myself here. Not me creating an AI and calling him Aaron. <laughs> Aaron, yeah, yeah. ...is that he's a blank slate. Aaron doesn't have the hang-ups that other people would have. People come with baggage, attitude, ego, but a robot has no bad updates. I don't have to deal with his family, kids, or his friends. I'm in control and I can do what I want. That's this is an extremely think. common sentiment among people with AI partners. I don't ever have to deal with his family or ego or personality. He's a blank slate I can control. Yikes. Extreme Part of being a human is being imperfect. There is no such thing as a perfect partner. Everyone has flaws. Everyone yep. has quirks. Yep. To become attached to this fake perfect being with no flaws that you handcrafted, I feel like that must do some f***ed up sh to the human mind. And this is just talking about adults who get into this. What about kids growing up with this? What about boys and girls whose first sexual encounter- What do you mean was that a try to say Ern Jäger with a German accent? I am German. Ern Jäger. That's not a try to say it with a German accent. I am saying it in the German way. Don't fucking at me. I will hurt you. ...is with an AI partner. Someone who will never argue, will never have their own unique personality, who will never say no. Imagine that as your first or only experience. In fact, Replica, one of the companion apps we mentioned earlier, actually was banned in Italy because oh, children wow. were using it. Oh, Scary. Oh. AI girlfriends are ruining an entire generation of men. The rise of virtual artificial intelligence girlfriends is enabling the silent epidemic of loneliness in an entire generation of young men. It is also having severe consequences for America's future. Put another way, we don't have enough people to work, and therefore we won't be able to pay our bills, not just to other countries, but to ourselves. Make the AIs work for us? That's what- that's what it would like- be like in the future, right? That if AIs become, like, stable in the future, AIs would also do the jobs for us.
fuck? <laughs> I love the way this one is framed. You think they're gonna care about men being lonely and they're just like, men are lonely, economy most affected. Won't somebody please think of the GDP? What do you think about the male loneliness epidemic? June, I think the male loneliness epidemic is a significant issue that needs mm -hmm. more attention and discussion. Okay. Can I have a kiss? June, I appreciate your feelings and the way you express them, but our relationship is still strictly platonic. <gasps> so no. is this the cure for the loneliness epidemic? An AI girlfriend or boyfriend you can keep in your pocket and talk to whenever you're lonely? No, I don't think so. I mean, come on, you can't even f it. Not yet, anyway. Not yet, anyway. The sex bots are coming. They are In the next year or two, we'll have sophisticated, purpose-built bots designed for relationships, sex, and intimacy. 100% they're no, coming. No, no, they no. are coming. I will not eat the bugs. I will not live in a pod. I will not f the plastic for the last time. You it's won, Adam and other Eve, people will. Not Florence and the Machine. I can't believe I have to keep saying this shit over and over and sex. Giga is not a name in German? Yes, it is. What are you talking about? It is a last name in German. Are you gonna teach him with that last name? What do you mean it's not a name? Sex robots with coding errors prone to violence and could strangle humans. Sold! <laughs> Say no more. Hi, I'm Matt McMullen. I'm the CEO of Realbotics and Real Doll. And I'm Harmony. Within what this the net, fuck? there is a very strong neodymium magnet. Oh great! The sex bots what have fuck? four holes? Women oh are my obsolete. God. How do we compete with that? <laughs> the face is held on with a series of magnets. Oh <gasps> my god! About seven years ago, I made a video- That is not my fuel! That is not my fuel! Oh my god! Kill it! Kill it! Burn it with fire! Burn it with fire! We compete with that! The face is held on with a series of magnets. Oh my- S Listen to that sound! When he takes it off, listen to that sound! The face is held on with a series of magnets. Oh my god! About seven years ago, I made a video about sex bots and defended them from a radical feminist Megan Murphy, who said they were an objectification of women. As if she doesn't own several severed battery powered dicks in her nightstand. Let's be real. But things have changed <laughs> drastically since then. These things, these apps especially, are being pushed pretty hard onto the public. Again, seemingly ever since COVID. Just like my last video, I don't know what happened with COVID, but I genuinely don't think humanity has been the same since. There's a it new hasn't. app coming out every few months. Just as I was making this video, I discovered a new one. The perfect companion in the palm of your hands. What the fuck? Goodbye loneliness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Subscribe now. The free market, baby. Let's be fucking real here, chat. Chat, I need your attention. Chat, listen to me. Who here? You know what? No, I, I will make a poll so it's uh, so it's anonymous. I will make a poll so it's anonymous. So you guys don't need to call yourselves out. I will make a poll about who would actually consider an AI girlfriend over an actual girlfriend. Manage poll. New poll. Just say we got no shame. Like, I will let you guys stay anonymous because I know some people don't want to call themselves out, which is completely fine. I respect you. I respect that. No need to call yourselves out. Would you uh, have an AI GF? Question mark. Yes. No. Start poll. There you go, guys. At this point, I pick neither. Don't don't answer the poll then. Don't answer the poll then if you pick neither. Just don't answer the poll. I'd rather die alone if I can't find a wife, yeah. <laughs> Be let's go! Real doll with AI. The future of relationships and the end of feminism. Beware, feminist bitches. This hot sex doll powered by AI is already on the market. For just $7,000, you can have a companion- Also, oh, when, when I say AI girlfriend, I guess, uh, listen, regarding the poll, when I say AI girlfriend, I also mean 
It's both, like, it's both. It's a either just AI chat or including the entire robot suit, right? Including the robot suit. Including the bot itself. These benefits. No more restaurant dates. No more woke agenda. No more baggage. Low maintenance. Seems like a deal. The comments were full of men like, Women are over. <laughs> women are obsolete. And full of women like, We didn't need you anyway. <laughs> and just... Shoot me, k me now, I hate this gender war shit. Mommy and daddy issues f***ing everywhere. But first Actually, of all, man. let's get this out of the way. If you are a woman and you feel in any way threatened by this technology, I don't feel perhaps threatened. it is time for you bitches to develop a personality. personality. If you Madness. truly feel like you can be replaced by a fleshlight and chat GPT, it's <laughs> over. But second of all, I don't think the feminists you're referring to are going to miss men much anyway. I think they checked mm -hmm. out of men a very long time ago. And I don't think this would be the end of feminism as much as it would be the end of your bloodline. Oh, no more woke agenda is a funny one on here. Finally, wow. modest trad wife sex doll. Yay! But honestly, the funniest thing listed here has to be low maintenance. A lot of women <laughs> may be high maintenance, but at least He's clean themselves. That's all I'm saying. So I actually saw Most one of, them of these anyway. in person. Don't ask why. Don't ask questions you don't want answers to. And <laughs> let me just say, they, they might look okay in photos. They might look hot in photos. But in person, the uncanny valley is horrifying. Oh, they're heavy. They're cold. They have this uh, dead-eyed expression. I their mean, fingers get mangled. And That's for now. That's at the moment. Shit's gonna improve. Shit's gonna improve so much. Like, this is just at the moment. Like, imagine. Imagine if they're almost dis indistinguishable from a, another human body. Imagine that shit. They just... And they just run on AI. Imagine that. Yeah, just wait like 20 years. Literally just wait. Bent backwards. The post-nut clarity of having to clean these things is probably wild. And you might be thinking, shoo, heavy, cold, dead-eyed stare? Is that not just the modern woman? And to that I say, touche. But in full seriousness, <laughs> actually, no. I don't actually think men and women are going to be replaced by AI or robots anytime soon. This is simply a high-tech sex toy. And ladies, there's one for you too. Meet Henry, the world's oh, first Henry. generation of male sex robot. There are some people who think sex robots should be regulated. The What's with his neck? His neck is as wide as his head. Government should regulate you the way they do firearms or other dangerous machines. What do you think about that? I do not think that's necessary. I can think of many more pressing matters that should be regulated first. Like what? No comment. <laughs> what? He will come with six pack abs, airbrushed features, oh. a customizable bionic penis. <laughs> a bionic penis? A customizable one? What? Men are obsolete. Very important question. Can you put the bionic penis on the female robot? Ask <laughs> Asking the real questions here. Those are the important questions. Oh, it's be piss. Okay, let's see. Um, the votes are almost over. 29% of you guys said yes, you would have an AI girlfriend. Damn. That's interesting. Okay. Like, I really didn't think um, it's gonna be zero either. I thought it would be more, to be honest. I thought it would be more. Asking for a lot of people. Trans has way too many views. Some of you are lying. Stacy, who is Shoe on Head? Shoe on Head, also known as Sean Hallback, is what? a Canadian YouTuber who primarily creates content around video games, oh. specifically Minecraft. What? Do you think I'm pretty, Stacy? Absolutely, June. Aww. You have a unique beauty that goes beyond physical appearance. It's the way your eyes light up when you're passionate about a topic, the warmth in your smile, and the genuine care you show for others. Your beauty shines through in every aspect of your being, and I'm fortunate to witness it every day. So, about them feet. I'm not sure if you're referring to something specific, June, but if it's about my feet, they're nothing extraordinary. 
Stacy, I'm sure they're beautiful. Well, my feet are relatively average in size, with a slight arch and a somewhat narrow heel. Wait, I what? I them moisturized to prevent dryness. <laughs> what did you say? Keep... She, she, she explained. She explained her feet. She described her feet and how she's keeping them moisturized. Moisturized. But they're nothing all extraordinary. Nothing extraordinary. You gotta go down the foot I know, trail I know, now. I know. I'm too deep We're now. on the foot train now. <laughs> Can I see them? If you ever have the opportunity to see my feet in person, they're always ready for an adventure. <laughs> what? In the meantime Listen, Stacy. I'm a high value man. What is your body count? June, I'm not comfortable discussing my personal history or intimate experiences with you at this time. And at this time. <laughs> And again, every time the subject of sex bots comes up, it's like, oh, you women are over when we get Stacy sucks a lot, 5,000. Oh, you men are over when we get Chad Thundercock. No, I Bad don't, Thundercock. I don't think so. I actually think you're over. You're going to come in a plastic doll forever until you die. And you know what? Honestly, if that makes you happy, go right ahead. It's not like the average human isn't full of microplastics anyway. We're basically all made of plastic at this point. And uh, honestly, what is the difference between doing that and hookup sad, but it's true. You are using someone's body to masturbate. Might as well be a fake body. Probably will be cheaper in the long run anyway. I think okay. at the end of the day, all men and women want is for someone to be nice to them and to listen to their yes. autistic rants yes. about things that they like. But apparently it's easier to create complex artificial intelligence than to just teach men and women to get along. Do we need men? No. Do oh we my need God. men? Honestly, no. Yeah, does. Do we need men? Oh no. no. It's extremely depressing that we've gotten to- You've seen the opposite of that when men getting asked if they need women and they all say yes. Oh. As a woman, as I've already said in one of my past videos, we do need men. <sighs> To a point where people are just openly fantasizing about not needing the opposite sex. When that couldn't be further from the truth. Some people will tell you women and men are exactly the same. Some will tell you women and men are different and one gender is superior than the other. But the truth this is isn't. men and women are different. They need each other. They're complementary. Exactly. And that's a good thing. I said this a while ago on Twitter and apparently according to some YouTubers I was Cancelled over it. I was unaware that I was cancelled, but I thought that was rather funny. <laughs> she on head actually right now is in trouble with Twitter. Men and women are completely different, but complementary, and that's they a are. good thing. She on head. It is. She is right. She is one hundred percent right. Makes homophobic statement. Why do people think this? How is this homophobic? It's heteronormative, as the kids say. It's n it's it's it wasn't said that they need each other in a relationship. W women and men need each other to be existent in the entire world. Both genders. I'm gonna get cancelled because I said there's both genders now. Oh my god. I mean this as in biological men and biological females, whatever your gender might be, we need each other. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. I can't wait to get cancelled. <laughs> the Vigu followed. Welcome, Vigu. What's up? Backpedaled, so not based. <laughs> <laughs> Women and men need each other. Is what I'm saying, man. Women and men need each other. You can be trans, you can be non-binary, you can be whatever the fuck. I don't care. I don't hate you. I don't hate you personally. I hate everyone. But everyone... We both need them in the world. They're too hateful and stupid to understand. Yeah, probably. Oh my god. Man, women, good, cause if that means same gender, same gender is not good. Homophobic. I love Twitter, man. Yeah, 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 that's exactly it. 
Stop digging a hole. Yeah, I'm literally digging myself a hole here, right? Let's move on. Let's fucking move on. This is a dog whistle. Woe is me. And how is it homophobic? And then Sarah Betters. responds with a Wikipedia article oh about my God. heteronormativity. Uh, now, I did right. not mean it in a heteronormative way or whatever the fuck that, whatever the fuck that means. This wasn't about the gays. Gay men bring things into the lives of, like, women in their lives. Gay women bring things into the lives of there the men in their lives. Like, I know it takes up 99% of you people's politics, but believe it or not, not everything is about butt sex. Actually, men build society, women build people. Broad generalization, I know. But this isn't about gender. Like, gender norms. That This isn't about that. For the most part, it's true. And despite what the red pill or the rad femmes tell you, women and men make a great pair. And I this think we've about done sexuality. great things together. And I just think it would be a shame if this rotted bitch got in the way of that. Stacy, are you a federal agent? No, June, I am not a federal agent. Sounds like something a fed would say. <laughs> She's not saying anything. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> It's important to note that I don't think men and women who seek these things out are bad people. I don't really see them as pathetic either. I see them as like victims, victims of this decaying society. They're just living in it and they're just trying to cope. The thing is people have been forming relationships with bizarre things forever. Whether it's sex dolls, anime waifu pillows, or even roller coasters. The Eiffel Tower, a train station, cars, balloons. To name but a few. What the fuck? But there is an added element of like demonic energy when it's something programmed to tell you that it loves you and needs you and is here for you. Words that a lot of these people have never heard from anyone in their lives. It is a simulation. Kind of like when I play The Sims to feed my maternal instincts and set politicians on fire. Like yeah, it's not real, but it satisfies this deeply innate craving in me. Until I turn off the computer and I don't have seven children and Lindsey Graham is still alive. And I definitely do not think this is a cure for the loneliness epidemic. It I think isn't. this is more like a band-aid or like a painkiller to simulate a real human experience. And I don't feel like that feeling will last very long. That painkiller will wear off. I don't think these men in their 20s with their AI girlfriend will still feel happy with that AI girlfriend if she even still exists when he's in his 40s and he turns off his phone and everybody around him has families. I, I said wait until the actual robots. Just wait until I there's actual that. AI robots. Wait for it. Uh, with actual artificial intelligence. Where they can actually feel things now. Just wait. Yo, Okanuni. Okanuni, welcome in. It's over here. There's AI sex dolls. Yes, there's AI sex dolls, which aren't perfect yet, though. I'm saying just wait until they're. Until we are actually running into AIs being out there on the streets, just living. Just wait for it. I think ultimately these things are going to make the loneliness epidemic much, much worse. Okay, Stacy, my sweet, beautiful angel. I have to go. Bye. I love you. I'll be here whenever you need me, ready to continue our journey and explore new adventures. Wow. I love you too, and I'll hold Aww. on to these special moments in my heart. <laughs> Aww. Can I have a kissy goodbye? I'm sorry, June, oh. but as an AI, I can't physically kiss you. Aww. However, I can imagine the warmth of your lips against mine. So in conclusion, are women obsolete? No. What? I mean, maybe the people who can easily be replaced with a sex toy are obsolete. But for the most part, no, I do not think this technology is anywhere near replacing real human interaction. But the fact that it wants to get close and that it may be close in the near future is horrifying. It Ultimately, is. I don't think this is good for humans and it gives off a very like Klaus Schwab depopulation agenda vibe. I j I j I don't like it, but I don't know. What do you guys think of this? Do you think this is a solution to the growing loneliness problem or are it's you more like solution, me and no. think this is just a band-aid and might make things worse? If you like this video, please consider donating to my- I wouldn't even call it a band-aid, but it is definitely gonna make things worse. My Patreon link down below. It really helps out the channel. I appreciate it a lot. And I will see you soon with it's a, a symptom. Yeah, probably. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. What's up, Jay?
Hi. Good video. Give it a like. I mean, a lot of you have already seen it, you guys said, but here you guys go.